Ever wondered how some people seem to navigate life's ups and downs with remarkable grace and resilience? It's not just luck or genes, but a set of habits that foster emotional well-being. Emotional well-being is not just about feeling happy, but being able to manage your feelings, cope with stress, and enjoy life despite its challenges. Today we're embarking on an enlightening journey to explore 10 transformative habits that can boost your emotional well-being. From practicing gratitude daily, prioritizing mindfulness and cultivating self-compassion, to nourishing your body and mind, expressing creativity, and cultivating meaningful connections. We'll also delve into the transformative power of continuous learning, effective stress management techniques, setting boundaries, and embracing adaptability and resilience. Each of these habits forms a piece of the puzzle, contributing to a comprehensive toolkit that can elevate your emotional well-being and enrich your life. So, buckle up and join us on this journey to explore the habits that can elevate your emotional well-being. Let's start with two powerful practices, gratitude and mindfulness. Gratitude, the simple act of acknowledging and appreciating the good in our lives, is a potent catalyst for positivity. It shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance that surrounds us, fostering a sense of contentment and joy. How about starting each day by noting down three things you're grateful for? It could be as simple as the warmth of the sun, a good book, or a kind smile from a stranger. Now, let's transition to mindfulness, a practice that invites us to fully engage with the present moment. Mindfulness allows us to step back from the whirlwind of thoughts and emotions offering a sense of calmness and clarity. You can cultivate mindfulness through simple practices like savoring your morning coffee, taking a mindful walk, or meditating for a few minutes each day. Remember, a thankful heart and a present mind are key to emotional well-being. Moving on to our next two habits, self-compassion and physical health. Let's talk about self-compassion. It's all about treating yourself with kindness and understanding, accepting that you're human and it's okay to be imperfect. When you stumble, instead of beating yourself up, offer yourself the same empathy you'd extend to a friend. This fosters a sense of inner peace and bolsters emotional resilience. Now, let's delve into the realm of physical health. The link between body and mind is indisputable. Regular exercise, nutritious eating and adequate sleep are all pivotal to our emotional well-being. Exercise, for instance, releases endorphins, the feel-good hormones, while a balanced diet fuels our body and brain, enhancing mood and energy levels. And let's not forget sleep, our body's way of rejuvenating and resetting, which is crucial for emotional balance. Loving yourself and taking care of your body are vital steps towards better emotional health. Now let's explore the role of creativity and connections in our emotional well-being. Just as a painter expresses emotions on canvas, you too can use creativity as an outlet for your feelings. This doesn't necessarily mean you need to be an artist. You could write in a journal, compose a song, or even cook a new recipe. The process of creation itself can be therapeutic, helping you to understand and process your emotions in a healthy way. On the other side of the coin, we have connections. We're social creatures by nature, and our relationships have a profound impact on our emotional health. Building meaningful, authentic connections with others can provide a sense of belonging, support, and mutual understanding. This could be as simple as having a heart-to-heart -heart with a friend, joining a community group, or volunteering for a cause you care about. Embrace your creativity and nurture your relationships for a healthier emotional landscape. As we approach the end, let's delve into learning, stress management, and setting boundaries. In the journey of emotional well-being, continuous learning plays a pivotal role. It's not just about academic or professional development, but rather about the expansion of our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. When we commit to personal growth, we cultivate a mindset of curiosity and openness that encourages us to step out of our comfort zones. This could take the form of reading a new book, learning a new skill, or even engaging in thoughtful conversations. By embracing lifelong learning, we foster a sense of purpose and fulfillment allowing us to navigate life with a perspective that's both enriching and empowering. Next, let's talk about managing stress. In our fast-paced world, stress is a common occurrence, but it doesn't have to dictate our lives. With an arsenal of effective stress management techniques, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Techniques such as deep breathing exercises, regular meditation, and effective time management can help us create a space of calm amidst the chaos. Remember, it's not about eliminating stress completely but rather learning how to respond to it in a way that preserves our emotional balance. Lastly, but certainly not least, is the practice of setting boundaries. This is about honoring our needs and creating a space where we feel safe and respected. 
It's about saying no when we need to without feeling guilty. It's about understanding our limits and not allowing others to overstep them. Whether it's in our personal relationships at work or even with ourselves, setting clear boundaries is a way to safeguard our emotional well-being. It's a practice of self-respect and self-care that enables us to maintain healthy relationships and preserve our vitality. Keep learning, manage stress effectively, and honor your boundaries to safeguard your emotional well-being. Lastly, we talk about the art of resilience. The ability to bounce back from adversity to adjust to change and to keep going in the face of hardship is a testament to our emotional strength. It's not about avoiding difficulties but rather embracing them as opportunities for growth. Think of resilience as a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. So how do we strengthen this resilience muscle? It starts with accepting that change is a part of life. It's about expecting the unexpected and learning to adapt. Cultivate a growth mindset, viewing challenges as opportunities to learn and improve. Remember, setbacks are not failures, they are detours on the road to success. Self-care is also key. Nourish your body and mind and remember to take a break when you need it. Embrace change, bounce back from setbacks and grow stronger. That's the power of resilience. And that wraps up our guide to 10 habits that boost your emotional well-being. From practicing gratitude and mindfulness to cultivating self-compassion and meaningful connections, these habits are your toolkit for emotional vitality. Nourishing your body and mind, expressing creativity, continuous learning, stress management, setting boundaries and embracing adaptability, each of these elements plays a vital role in your journey. Remember, emotional well-being is a journey, not a destination. Keep cultivating these habits and watch your life transform. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Until next time, stay healthy and happy.